Aronia wins a game that, frankly, he looked like he was lost most of the way. But Magnus Carlsen missing one key trick. And all of a sudden, it's only three and a half, one and a half. Carlsen going for the Berlin endgame. Endgame, he does play regularly. But that stylistically, I believe, should suit Levon Aronia, who also has a lot of experience here as well. Goes for bishop g5, which I think is not the main move here. Threatening rook d8, checkmate. Parried by Magnus. Goes bishop e6. I don't know, rook d2 for rook d1 looks logical. There are also plans with knight e2 and knight f4. Was knight e2, bishop d5? I think that's a theoretical line. Yeah, 92 played. Bishop d5 played. No, yeah, there were different moves. Not f4, ft4. Not ft4 played. Takes, takes. River Bolt is saying, this guy's voice is the ASMR I need. Thank you, River Bolt. I love being called this guy. Uh, Rook D2 played. This is a weird position. Black obviously can't castle anymore since his king has already moved and then went back to E8. White wants to just crash very directly. If Black were to stabilize, He'd be, he'd be okay very often. I'm not sure if directly. You're even okay exchanging bishops here with the black pieces, which looks a bit strange because you would think the two bishops are your big trump compensating for the double pawn, the king in the center. But it's really more about getting squares for your pieces. And the light square bishop himself is usually enough of a match for the knight. So I wouldn't be surprised if Carlson with bishop e7 here. Or bishop b4, c3, bishop e7. Yeah, he goes bishop e7. Just trying to create some squares for his pieces. Right at 4, rook 88. Yeah, no, getting a lot of ASMR comments today. The truth is, chat, I'm having a cold and I'm trying to stop sneezing and coughing all the time. So I'm, you know, curbing my excitement. I don't think I usually talk like this. Still, I'm glad you enjoy it. Pawn to h4. I don't know, it always feels like white well, should be better, but if you switch on computers here and most chess players, even myself, have spent a lot of time staring at computers in these Berlin endgames, they will usually tell you that black is okay. Black sub boy is saying you usually kind of talk like this when you feel sarcastic. Can you even feel sarcastic? I don't know. I'm not doing it on purpose. Levon bringing the king still looks much better for white. But once again, as long as these pawns don't start rolling on the king's side. It does seem that the current school of thought is that all these endgames are just, just fine. Takes, takes. There are no entry squares for the rook. I know it's rook. I'm working on it. Knight e2. Do you go c5? Do you activate your own rook? I don't know. Max Estrella saying, As San Fermín pedimos por ser nuestro patrón, nos guíe en el encierro dándonos su benedicción. En sun aren San Fermín su zaiguto. With the second part I don't catch is that Basque. Anyway, those are beautiful words, Max Estrella. See, we ask San Fermín to be our guide that he will guide us in the... What's Enthiero? Sounds like locked up. 
giving us his blessing. Deep. So for the end game, still take white. Still think should be equal, but if anybody's better, it has to be white. Here comes the knight. The examiner is saying, is he undrunk? It's never an opportunity. See? Not even making any sense. I was going to say, it's never an opportunity to get drunk in this house. Which makes zero sense. Sure. There's plenty of alcoholic beverages. Live on. Making some progress here. Rook d4, rook e4. The black pawns also had to go a4, b5, making much harder to keep advancing. Looks like, yeah, he's on the verge of breaking through, which would mean if he were to win this, that's three and a half, two and a half. So all to play for. Not over yet, but progress has certainly been made. Here comes the king. This looks very hard to defend. Zenbi is saying, young things drawing arrows equals commentary. Then my beloved um, uh, chat. I was so happy to see you again. Do a bit of English commentary. This is what I'm getting. C6, giving up this square, this might be the final nail in his coffin. He wanted to put the bishop on d5, but it allowed White's knight some fresh jumps. And apparently, there's no way back. Buff Daddy and the family. Knight takes his six, king g4. Going for counterplay with king g3. But is it enough? King d6, king g3. 95, Aronian, organizing his pieces. Now it's a question of counting f7. Takes, takes. The repeat moves once. Is this winning? f7. Take, take. King g2, knight g5. h3, knight h3 would be winning. So I don't see why not. Knight g5, king g3. I don't get it. To me, it looks winning. Let's see. Aronian taking his time. Shouldn't overdo the thinking part here. Carlson also down two seconds. Well, I assume is calculating if f7 is a win or not. It goes knight g6 back. We've had this before. Bishop f7 and takes on h4. Ah, that's what he's been calculating. King e7 also winning f7. And yeah, he's just counted. And yeah, he wins this game. Three and a half, two and a half. Everything looked like smooth. Sailing for Magnus Carlsen, but now he loses 